Hey there, Beach Scrub. This learning video is all about creating sentences which retell a story. Now, the part of the story that we're going to tell is one chapter on Matilda, and we're going to focus on chapters three and four, because these are two chapters where Roald Dahl tells the story of how Matilda plays a trick on her dad or her family. So your first job is to pick the chapter you want. Do you want to pick the chapter about the glue on the hat? Or do you want to pick the chapter about the ghost? Once you pick that chapter, step one is I want you to pick the six you think are the most important parts of the chapter and just do a nice little comic strip, set of pictures, which tell that story. Okay? Chance for you to show off your artistic skills, chance for you to pretend you're Quinton Blake and do some fantastic little illustrations there. Once you've done your six little pictures that tell the story, step two is to write some simple sentences. So I here have one picture, I must admit I did not draw this, Quinton Blake drew this, but I've got my picture of one part of the story. This is the bit where Mrs Wormwood pulls the hat, or tries to pull the hat off Mr Wormwood. Your first job is to write a simple sentence. Simple sentences often start with a pronoun, especially when they're retelling a story, especially when it's written in the third person. Okay, so you need to think who is doing something, what actor? Okay, we have Mrs. Wormwood. So I'm going to start my sentence with Mrs. Wormwood. Okay, and then I'm going to say what she's doing. Mrs. Wormwood, I'm writing the past tense in the third person in the past tense. Mrs. Wormwood tried to pull the hat off. Okay, that's my simple sentence. Mrs. Wormwood tried to pull the hat off. Okay, I want you to try and write a sentence for each of your six pictures. Nice and simple. Top tip, start with the pronoun, start with the actor, and then move on to the action, what they did. Okay, once you've got that for all six sentences, step three is you can add some adverbial sentence openers. Okay, an adverbial sentence opener basically add some extra information at the start of the sentence to the verb, okay? So it adds more information to how or when or why this is when we tried to pull the hat off. I want you to focus on, my top tip is to think of when we're retelling a story, when sentence openers are really useful. So I'm going to use when adverbial sentence openers. So my challenge is to think, well, when did Mrs. Wormwood try and pull the hat off? Okay. So I know from reading the story and then reading, reading this, this happened as soon as Mr. Wormwood got home from work. So I need an opener which will start that. So I could say when Mr. Wormwood got back from work or as soon as he returned from work or the moment he stepped through the door. I think I'm going to say as soon as Mr. Wormwood Sorry, got home. So my opener is this part here. As soon as Mr. Wormwood got home, okay? Because that says when the simple sentence happened. As soon as Mr. Wormwood got home, Mrs. Wormwood tried to pull the hat off, okay? I want you then to repeat that process for every one of your simple sentences. Now, if we're being these ones here, these would do the job. First, blah, 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 blah. Then, blah, 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 blah. Ne next, blah, 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 blah. After that, blah, 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 blah. Finally, blah, 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 blah. These would do the job. There's nothing wrong with these. But actually, when we're telling a story, it's quite nice to have some more precise, accurate, fine-tuned ones. Ones that can say exactly when it happened. Not just first, but you can start with perhaps like early in the morning. Or when Mr. Wormwood went downstairs when he got to work, as soon as he got home, that night, the next morning, during breakfast, more specific and uh, precise adverbial openers will do a better job. Once you've completed that, you should have six really, really good sentences which retell the story of this chapter. If you're looking for an extra challenge, okay, you can plan your own trick. Okay? Storyboard it out, write sentences about it, add adverbial sentence starters. Now you could plan another trick for Matilda to play on her parents, or if you're feeling fiendish, you could even plan your own trick that you could play on your parents. 
just to confirm, this is just the plan. Don't actually do the trick on your parents, otherwise they will be furious. Okay. So if you're looking for an extra challenge, why not plan your own trick? Okay? I really want to read these sentences. So as soon as they're done, please send them in to me so I can give you some good quality feedback. Okay. Good luck, Beach Class.